Praise be to Yah. In the name of His Son, the Lord Yahweh Shai, the Anointed One, who we used to call Jesus Christ. Give honor and praise to Yah for this day. Praise Yah. Uh, it's another day in New York City. On my way to Wake. Uh, wish I could have been giving you all a better view right now of the city, but uh, it's New York City traffic a little bit here today. But anyway. I wanted to make another video here to uh, respond to some comments um, that I frequently get. And again, you know, I don't mind uh, responding to comments. I love responding to comments. I love interaction. But it's like sometimes I have to say the same thing over and over again. So I'm making this video uh, like I did the last video as a response to certain repetitive questions or comments that I get about some of the videos that I've made. Um, this one in particular, this video is going to be for a response to comments uh, I get about the name of, the true name of the Savior, which is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, and the true name of the Father, which is Yahweh. Yahweh, not Jehovah, okay, um, or Yahweh, or Yahweh, or Yahuwah, or, or all these other false names that's floating around out there. So, this response is going to be to three different categories of folks, okay? I'm going to make a response to comments I get from Muslim Muslims, um... Hebrew Israelites and Christians okay now for for the Hebrew Israelites or you know certain Christians and Hebrew Israelites who who use the name Yeshua Yahushua they say the name Yahushua is the true name of the Son of God, who we have known as Jesus the Christ. We've all known him as Jesus the Christ. I myself have called, when I called out to him for salvation, I called upon him uh, by the name Jesus. Because that's the only name I knew him by. Okay, until I came, got a little more mature in the faith and more mature in knowledge, I came to the understanding that his real name was his Hebrew name. But back then, I knew that back then. But back then, I didn't know what the true Hebrew name was. There was many different names floating around out there like Yeshua or uh, Yahashua or, and, 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 and the like, okay? But the true name of the Savior is Yahweh Shai. Now, for the folks who repeatedly tell me, no, the true name is Yahushua, I made a video, an hour something long, hour plus long video, detailing detailing and somebody and and and, and the person I'm, I'm one of the people I'm sending this comment to you made a comment saying oh this guy he's not sure of himself or oh, he had to make an hour-long video to make this point the video is an hour and something long because when we do things here we do things in a way that we cover all the bases and we give you all the evidence so there's no rooms for arguments I've made this statement many a times okay there's not a man or woman walking the face of the earth that can refute the evidence that the true name of the Savior is Yahweh Shai. Yah is salvation. That is his true name. That was the name given to him at birth. There is no disputing that. There's no refuting that. The evidence is irrefutable. I challenge, I dare any of you to, you want to come on, on my channel? Um, and have an open debate and put this out for the public to see prove me wrong try your very best prove me wrong okay it's impossible the true name of the Savior is Yahweh Shai now you say Yahushua Yahushua oh yes I get in the video it shows you and it proves to you ancient Hebrew the language that our Lord spoke had no vowels in it. Hebrew 
ancient Hebrew is considered a abjab language. And there's many abjab languages in the world. Hebrew is just one of them. Hebrew is an abjab language, which means it has no vowels whatsoever inside of that in, inside of that alphabet, in that language. In its phonetic structure, there is no vowels. Okay? Now, that's that's clear. That's irrefutable. Now you guys will say, no, there are vowels, they just didn't write them down. How can you have a language with no, I, I, and then I've heard someone, it tells you clearly, right? Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew, is an abjab language consisting of 22 letters, all of which are consonants. One of you had the audacity to say the vowels are inside of the consonants. What nonsense is that? For example, the Hebrew letter, um, um, pick an easy one here, uh, ma, or na, right, or ra, where, where's, the, where's the vowel in, where's the vowel in that, where, where do you hear the vowel in ra, there's no vowel there, the Hebrew letter wa, wa, where do you hear a vowel in that, there's no, there's no vowels there, it's not, the vowel is not hiding somewhere inside of the consonant magically somewhere. That's nonsense. That's fantasy. That's a, that's, you know what that is? That's denial. You're in denial of the truth. Okay? Let me further prove this. In the video and in the other video that I made, the true name of the Savior is Yahweh Shai, it makes it very clear to you that vowels were introduced to the Abjab Hebrew language by by a vowel system called the Matris Lectionis. Okay? The Matris Lectionis was created by the Greeks to adapt the Abjab Phoenician language into their language. Okay? This adaptation of vowels into these Abjab language, uh, languages um, came about because of the Greek influence on the Middle Eastern uh, Middle Eastern world okay as the Greeks were getting more involved in the Middle Eastern culture and the Semitic culture they had to adapt their language somehow okay so this is why they made and created the Matris Lectionis the Greeks did this not the Hebrews the Greeks okay the Hebrews were speaking their language just fine without any vowels at all okay then y'all say, well, oh, well, 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 you look in the, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Dead Sea Scrolls, um, you know, shows you that, you know, that, that, that there's, there's vowels in his name and this, that, and the other. Again, I went to a book by, by the leading scholar, by a leading Jewish scholar who was in charge of deciphering the Dead Sea Scrolls and translating them. And he said, and I have in that video, quotations from his book saying that in the Dead Sea Scrolls there was numerous uh, entries with used by um, um, uh, used with uh, um, many writings used with the Matris Lectionis in it the Matris Lectionis system was used in the writing of the Dead Sea Scrolls okay so that means they were using that system to 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 to, to to add vowels to, to, to the Abjab Hebrew language. Okay? But when Moses wrote that Bible, there was no matrix like the onus. There was no vowels in there. When the Lord was walking the earth and he was and, 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 and speaking Hebrew amongst the Hebrew people, there was no vowels in that language. Okay? Then the matrix like the onus, many centuries later, was upgraded upgraded to a vowel pointing system called the Nikud. Okay? When you see the when you see the dots and, 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 and these little dots and characters over the, 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 the Hebrew letters, when you look in the Strong's concordance, the position of those dots will change the sound of the letter. For example, the letter wa. When you put a vowel mark above the wa, it becomes that that that's called a shuruk. It, so that turns 
the letter wa into the sound of you. Okay? Period. I had a, a in the a, in the video I went to some Arab people and Arab Arabic and Hebrew is almost identical. Arabic is also classified as a abjab language. Okay? And I wrote out the name of the father and of the son with the equivalent Arabic letters because they have the same letters in Hebrew that they do in Arabic. So I just, the way the father's name is spelt in Hebrew, I just spelt it on Arabic. And when I showed it to, and I have this on video, and I did this multiple times. When I showed it to someone who speaks Arabic, they saw the name of the father, they said, Yahweh. When they looked at the name of the son, they said, Yahweh Shah. Okay? Now, I, I gave the explanation and the reason for why they said Yahweh Shah, not Yahweh Shah. That's in the video also. I'm not going to go over all of that. I have a whole video explaining and proving that the letter Ayin, the last num Ayan, the last letter in the Lord's name, is to pronounce with the I sound. It's the original letter I. It's literally drawn as an I in ancient pictograph Hebrew. It, it, the letter literally means I. Like the eyes that we see with. There's, there's no confusion there. Okay? Alright? So that is done. That is done. Anyone still claiming this Yahuwah, Yahushua name, you're in denial. Please go and watch that video that I made again. And, and you point out to me anything in that video that I said that was wrong. Please do that. Give me the time marker. Show it to me. And I've said this to you all many times in the comment section. Show it to me. Show it to me. Okay? Um, our, our, our Muslim folks. Okay? You say the name of the Lord is Isa. Isa is the Arabic translation or the Arabic version of Iesus. Iesus, into English, we get Jesus. Okay? Iesus, Jesus is just Iesus, just to replace the I and put a J there. It's the same name. So we try to say that in Arabic now, it comes out as Isa. Isa is, was the brother of Jacob, who was rejected by Yah. Okay? Because he sold his birthright for a plate of food. That's not the same name. The Savior has the same name of the man who led the children of Israel into the wilderness, uh, into the promised land after Moses died, Joshua. When you look in the Hebrew spelling, that name is Yad Ha Wa Sha Ayan, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, Joshua, and the Savior who we have called Jesus have the same exact Hebrew name. It's spelled the exact same way. Even the priest, there's a priest in, in the Old Testament. Um, his name was Joshua, Joshua the high priest. When you look up, when you look up how that name is spelled in Hebrew, it's spelled Yad Ha Wa Sha Ayan, Yahweh Shai. It's the same name. That name literally means Yah is salvation. Period. Okay. Um, also, there's nowhere in the scriptures where God is referred to as Allah. Allah is not the name of of the Father at all. And I've never and I and I've never came across a Muslim who who knows the name of the the, the the name of the Father. Okay? The name of the Father is Yah. That's why we say hallelujah. Hallelujah means praise be to Yah. Halala Yah. That means praise be to Yah. Yah is short for Yahweh. Okay? That's his name. Period. The Hebrew verb for existence is Hawa. Okay? Hawa. The father the the, the, the the father's name is spelled with Yad Ha Wa Ha Wa Ha. That's Yah Ha Wa. He exists. He is. It's that simple. Okay? Now, for Christian folk who defend the name of Jesus, I want to make this clear. I'm not attacking the I'm not I'm not attacking anyone who uses the name of Jesus. And there's a lot of people who jump to conclusions and say, oh, you're one of those people who say, oh, if you don't use the true name, the Hebrew name, you're not saved and this, that, and the other. You will never 
hear me say that on this channel ever and excuse me if I'm screaming again because my, my, my engine's pretty loud um, never will you hear me say that you do not have to use the true Hebrew name of the Lord to be saved when I got saved I called on him by the name Jesus because that's the only name I knew him by and he saved me okay just like he saved millions and millions of others by calling on him by that name Jesus because they're calling they're calling on him by that name out of ignorance okay he knows they don't know that that's not his real name but they're calling upon him in faith in who he is and they believed the testimony that God gave about his son that's how we're saved you have to believe what the father has said about his son and accept him by faith okay that's how we're saved okay so you'll never hear me say you have to say Yahweh Shai to, to truly be saved. Now, what I will say is this. The Lord said, I come in my Father's name. Okay? The Father's name is Yah. When you look at the, 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 the Hebrew people, their names had his name in it. Okay? Um, Jeremiah. Uh, uh, um. Zechariah and 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 uh, uh, Isaiah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what you, you're hearing the name of the Father in, in in their names, okay? Josiah, okay, and all those names had meanings, okay. So he says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, that my people, which are called by my name. That's his name, yeah. Psalm 68 tells you, uh, give praise to him by his name, yeah. That's a command. You're, we're commanded to praise him by his name, yeah. And we do this all the time in church. We say, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. But you don't know what hallelujah means. And then when you hear the true name of the Father, you think it's some, you're quick to call somebody a heretic and saying they're coming with some, 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 some craziness or something like that. But I'm just telling you what, the, what his real name is. That's a very important. Very important. Extremely important. Hallowed be thy name. That's the first thing we have to pray for. Okay? When he humbled Egypt, he told Moses it was to make his name great in the earth. What name? Yahweh. All of the other countries and, 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 and uh, around Israel and in that area, they knew that Yahweh was the true living God. And he delivered his people out of Egypt. And that name, Yahweh, became great in the earth. Okay, and now, because of some ignorant, um, superstitious um, tradition by these so-called Jews, they hid his name in the Bible with this capital L-O-R-D, Lord. When we should have been seeing his true name there. That's a crime. To take the name of the Father out of His own book, and 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 I'm speaking to you Christians now, okay? You, 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 we we have to understand that yo, we, we're His children. We bear His name, okay? We're the ones supposed to be the pillar and ground of the truth. That's what the church is. The pillar and ground of the truth. That's what the congregation is. The assembly. We're the pillar and ground of the truth. We should be upholding. His name to the world. We shouldn't be going going forward in ignorance. Okay? Do you honest listen? It, it's, it's this simple. Think about it. And a lot of you have said, there's no power in that name. Yahweh Shai. There's no there's no power in that name. There's power in the name Jesus, though. Okay, well, well, well okay, well watch this. What what watch this? Okay. If there's power in the name Jesus, okay, let me ask you something. And I've, and I've said this a million times in the comment section. Do you honestly believe that the name the apostles and the disciples were using when they were preaching in his name and casting out devils and healing the sick and when the, 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 the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin warned them and told them, we, we warned you to no longer preach in that name. What name do you think they're talking about? 
It certainly was not Jesus. It's impossible it was the name Jesus. Impossible. These were Hebrews. They spoke Hebrew. Okay? The Lord's name is Hebrew. It's a Hebrew name. You can't take a, a, a Greek name, a Greek Latin name, like the Catholic Church did, and just stick it there and say, oh, his name is Jesus. Yeah, because when you're saying Jesus, that's what you're really saying, Jesus. Because in 1769, that's when the name Jesus appeared. That's the truth. In the 1611 King James Bible, there was no letter J. There was no letter J. When you go on, you could go online right now and look up the 1611 King James Bible, the first King James Bible. There is no name Jesus. There is no letter J in that Bible at all. Every time, every place where you would see the name Jesus, you saw the name Jesus. And then when they revised the King James Bible in 1769, they put the name Jesus there. But the Bible is going to be revised again. And it's going to be revised properly this time. And the name Yahweh Shai, his true name is going to be in that name, in that, in that Bible. And the name of the Father. As it should be. Not Lord. Not capital L-O-R-D, Lord. No, it's Yahweh. Yah, that's his name. Okay? So if there was power in that name to raise the dead 2,000 years ago, why wouldn't there be any power in that name now? It's not so much about the name. It's about the person. Okay? It's about having faith in that person. Okay? But the Bible says at, a, at times of ignorance, he winks at it. But that time, but that time, but that time, but, the, but that time is limited. There comes a certain time where he holds you accountable to, to, to grow in knowledge and understanding. He's like, yo, you keep calling me Jesus, 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 but that's not my name. Look, this is my real name. Call me this. That's my name. These people, they hid my name. And he's shown us in these last days what his real name is. Okay? So, I mean, we, we can be... We, we, I know there's a lot of attachments to that name, Jesus. But to me, you know, I'm on the side of truth. I'm on the side of truth. And if you really love him, if you really love him, you love him like you say you do, you would be thrilled to know that you now know his true name. Hmm? Imagine, imagine, you know, living all your life not knowing your parents' real first name. You don't know their name at all. You don't know them. Imagine being married to someone 40, 50 years and you don't know their name. You're calling them by a name that's not theirs? Oh, one day they just tell you, oh, honey, you know, I'm sorry, my, my name is really, you know, such and such. That's not my real name. You'll feel like, well, I, I don't even know this person. Huh? When you meet someone, the first thing you find out is, well, hi, what, you introduce yourself and you let them know your name. Then you find out their name. So, come on, that's just madness to think that, you know, it, it's not important that we know his real name and oh and there's many scriptures that I'm going to bring out to prove the importance of this oh I'm, I, I've, I've, I've seen a couple okay I've seen a couple that makes this situation a very serious one it's a very serious one but again I'm not I, I don't want this to ever become a point of contention or separation between believers because we have enough of that already I will fellowship with someone who calls on the name Jesus if, so, if I'm praying with a, uh, I know, I know that they're a believer, and, and they're praying and they use the name Jesus, I'm gonna say Amen. When I pray though, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use His real name, but I don't, I don't be, I do not look down upon or belittle anyone who still uses that name Jesus. They, you, you have to come to that. Yah has to bring you to that place on your own. But I'm just showing you the truth. Okay, I'm just showing you what the truth is. You see, and one thing I like about truth is once you see it, you can't unsee it. Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. So now you know. You understand? Now you know. So I'll put the links um, to those to those videos uh, to clear up any questions um, that y'all might have in, in the description. And I'm gonna try to start doing some some live live feeds where. I can just answer y'all, take time and answer your questions. 
about anything you might have. And there's a lot of there's a lot of other things that we have to, you know, touch on and, and, and get involved with uh, in the scriptures. Uh, but y'all willing? Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna start to open up some more stuff and and and, and, and get to the bottom of what what y'all has for us in these times. Amen. But as for now, this is just uh just a quick response to some comments that I had, uh, recurring comments. Um, number love for y'all, grace and peace. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Y'all's with us, and um, keep the faith. <laughs>